Hello and welcome back to a new video on the Windows 10 Mobile Group channel. Today I want to show you a brand new app made by myself, Penguin2001, called Penguin Device Test. So let's get right into it. First of all, what is Penguin Device Test? It is an all-in-one hardware test app for your Windows phone. It offers various features such as testing your screen for dead pixel or burn-in, reading battery info such as capacity or charge rate, testing your vibration motor, testing speaker, testing slash reading sensor data, currently accelerometer, barometer, light sensor and magnetometer, as well as testing your camera button or via USB connected keyboard. Now let's see these features in action. First of all, we're going to take a look at the screen testing feature. As you can see, you can see various colors that you can select. Selecting one of these options means your entire screen is going to turn into that color, allowing you to see that pixels or burn in. So I'm going to first of all select red and I cannot see any dead pixels or burn in. And I'll just go through all of these colors real quick and check for any burn-in or dead pixel. And as far as I could see there were no dead pixels or burn-in and the screen seems just fine. So let's take a look at the next feature, battery status. This allows you to read various battery data. First of all, when you click on this option, you have two options, aggregate results and individual results. On some two-in-ones, you have multiple batteries and if you want to read each um, report for each battery individually, you can select this option, but since I'm on a Lumia 950, which has only one battery, I'm just going to keep it on aggregate results and click get battery report. Now, you can see various data. You can see device ID, which is aggregate battery, battery status, which is charging, charge rate in milliwatts, which is 1260 right now, the design energy capacity, uh, the fully charged energy capacity, and the remaining energy capacity. You can also see the percent remaining energy capacity, which you can also in the status bar. The next feature we're going to take a look at is vibration. This, as the name applies, allows you to test your vibration motor. So I'm just going to click vibrate. And I can feel and hear the vibration motor and it seems to work just fine. We also have an option called speaker, which allows us to test a speaker if it is working properly. So you just hit play. and the speaker is working perfectly. The next option we're going to take a look at is called sensors. It allows you to read your various sensor data such as from the accelerometer, barometer, light sensor and magnetometer. However, not all sensors are available on all devices. You can click here if you want to know uh, which devices support which sensors. For example, you can see this, that if I shake my device, the accelerometer values go up and down, which means it's obviously working. As well as the light sensor, if I just pull up a flashlight, you can see it increases and if I turn the flashlight off again, it decreases a lot again. Now, the last option we're going to take a look at is called Buttons. As said previously, it allows you to test your camera button. A camera button has two states, which is half pressed and fully pressed. So I'm just going to half press my camera button and it says working. And I'm going to fully press it and it now says working, which means my camera button is working indeed fine. I hope you enjoyed the video and my new app. And see you next time. Bye!